Travel Council Choice Awards, three for Pioneer Travel this year. Um, and they're stuck together, so um, time for a road trip ad. Website, love that it was so well organized. And the uh, brochure guide category, uh, the Chesterfield brochure. Congratulations. Thank you. Last year we did not have copies for application available, so this year we can find it for all. We did want to take the opportunity to thank Mr. Chairman and members of the council for the opportunity to present this year's grant application. Uh, did want to take the opportunity, we've got several members of the Travel Council here with us today. Um, we've got Tony Maraloni, who is the Vice President of Pioneer Country Travel Council here. Uh, Bridget Losey, Secretary of Pioneer Country Travel. Matt Hunter, who is the Executive Director of Pocatello Chamber and on the Board of Directors for the Pocatello. And, uh, Planner Country Travel Council's uh, board, and Miss Emily Rush um, with the Travel Council also. We like to stay spread out with the philosophy that it always takes more than two grenades to get you off. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to um, touch on the fact that this year's grant application is much changed from previous years in that uh, the Greater Pocatello CBB is reorganizing into Visit Pocatello, and as such, they are uh, participating with Pioneer Country Travel in the grant process this year. Uh, they won't be coming in separately with their own grant application. It will all be a true regional uh, grant application, and already we're seeing some, some terrific benefits out of that not only participation of more people within the regional uh, concept, we're also seeing some of that economy of scale that we were all hoping to see. Uh, and I will touch on that as we go into it. But I think it, it's really important, we're kind of following uh, along the, the grounds of uh, South Central and Twin Falls uh, laid the groundwork for last year of just getting more bang for the buck being truly regional and representing all interests within the region and being able to do it more economically uh, and, and a lot more responsibly, uh, I think, especially in, in light of the times of how tight things are. Um, and even if, it, even if you're flush and you got a lot of money, why waste it? Let's, let's get the most that we can for that. Um, and along those lines, the one that I really wanted to point out that's already come to fruition on that is in element number six in the regional brochures and brochure distribution. Currently, the Pioneer Country Travel Council, or in years past, we've hired uh, a worker with certified folder, bought uh, rack space in the Treasure Valley, uh, up in the West Yellowstone area, uh, the, the west entrance into the Yellowstone Park, and also down in the Wasatch Front, uh, buying slot for the, the region's brochure. This year, we've expanded that to two slots, to carry one slot for Pocatello uh, for their brochure and one for Pioneer Country Travel. We basically got the, the space doubled for a little bit less money on the two. So right off the bat, it worked great for both of us, uh, for all of us, really, and, and the money is stretched out more. Um, in element three in regional advertising there, again, we expect to see a lot more bang for our buck. Um, being able to um, go into more places and in, in the past we've been duplicative in, at times. Pocatello's done some, we've done some, we've partnered together to do those. Uh, now it's going to be a, a more of a representative uh, regional and and Pocatello both going into these uh, different uh, venues in, in advertising. One of, the, one of the strong points in this, and where it's real hard to separate them out anyway, the, the different elements, is in the regional marketing, everything's driven as much as possible. That's your, that's your hook, just get people's interest, bring them in, send them to the websites. Get them to the websites so they can take a look at these things. Um, <coughs> And I don't know if it's because of our outstanding website, 
or because of this uh, uh, advertising focus, but from May of 2009 to 2010, or more, 2010 to 2011 compared to the previous year, uh, we've seen a 17% increase in website visitors. Of those visitors, all told, not just new ones coming in, but of all visits onto the website, 84% of those are new visitors, according to the Google uh, stats. So, you know, and that's what our intent is. Let's get those people coming in, get them introduced to the area. We feel that once people come in and visit the area, they'll come back. Then you've introduced them to something that they really want to come back into the, into the region. Um, consumer travel shows and convention promotion in element four. There again, that one's expanded to include in those things that used to be done by the uh, Pocatello CBB, uh, especially in the uh, promotions, bringing conventions in. Obviously, well, shouldn't say obviously. Most of the region in uh, southeast Idaho cannot host conventions of any size. Pocatello can. Once they get them into Pocatello, then they're primed for traveling throughout the region, staying, extending their stays in. Uh, and, and Pocatello have done a pretty good job of, in the past of bringing in those uh, sporting events and different conventions coming in. So this is kind of a, a good marriage again of not only do we have the facilities to host your, your USA Wrestling tournaments, but while you're here in those days that you have you know, that you're not wrestling or before and after, here are the things to see and do around the region and you can stay a little bit longer and keep those going. So again, win-win uh, situation. Uh, element number five, and here again, I'm just going to touch on some of the highlights and I'll, I'll answer any of the questions that you have in, in detail that I'm not getting on. Uh, part of the, of the website is the restructuring, rebuilding of the Visit Pocatello website. Uh, they're, they're starting the process in this year's grant uh, <coughs> from Pocatello CBB with the idea of continuing on and finishing up with, with next year's uh, grant. Um, also in this element, we've included in uh, creation of downloadable photos and videos for the websites. That's one of the things that's requested frequently um, at at consumer travel shows and also at the uh, at the uh, convention promotion shows, uh, go west. The tour operators ask, you know, do you have videos so that we can just go on and take a look at what's there, and uh, we want to take a look at, at uh, developing those those videos onto the website so that people can go grab them and really take a better look at, at what's going on. Um, again. Those are some of the highlights. Element 8 sponsorships, that one's new to Pioneer Country Travel, uh, but it is a continuation on of, of activities and efforts that were made previously by the Pocatello CBB of uh, the sponsorships bringing people in. We got the uh, Pocatello Rodeo event, uh, the USA Wrestling Tournament, uh, and some other new events coming in or being developed that, that uh, we'd like to have funds available to sponsor those uh, events. So. Uh, and with that, I've always been a firm believer in rather than you listening to what I want you to have, want you to hear, uh, I'd rather answer questions that you really want to know the answer to rather than me trying to sell you something. So with that, I'll turn the rest of my time over to you, Mr. Chair. Bill, it might be a question that Matt has to answer, but uh, what, what are we asking for a sponsorship for Gate City Brewfest at the Pocatello Marathon? That is, that is, um, such as, but not limited to. <laughs> Gate City Brewfest is a new event we did this last year. Um, we feel it has huge potential to bring overnight rooms. Uh, to the community, much like the, uh, as the Idaho Falls Brewfest does. It was, we, we put it together in about four weeks, and, and it was a huge success. Um, we think it can grow five to ten times what it was, uh, even this, uh, and, and it was a great success this year. And we really think it can, can generate some room nights. 
Uh, you know, the marathon is just such a huge and growing event in our community. We'd like to support it. So, um, and, and we have it in the past. Yeah, I was going to say, rather than sponsorship, we're probably about to maybe move that over to uh, advertising and that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, not a problem. And, and, that, and that's not to say that those, the, the advertising wouldn't be done for those events, you know, in that element either. But it, it's one of those ones of if, if it comes down to just needing a little push in sponsorship to get the event to go, we want the ability to be able to, to do those. And, and the brew fest is a, is a great one. You get them drunk and they can't go home. We did a good job of that. Southeast Idaho being the redhead and stepchild, uh, there is not a whole lot of library there. I agree. Yeah. So, and, and that's one of those things that once they're developed, being able to share into the into the state's library also, to where mm -hmm. you know we get most bang for the buck. Yeah, by no fault of the banks, we just don't have a whole big inventory where you can buy. And my apologies to redhead and stepchildren. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>